Hello everyone. Welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I am your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, I am going to tell you all about the past continuous tense. Well, this is a very important tense and it's a very useful one too. Now, how do you form this past continuous tense? The past continuous tense is formed by using subject plus was or were plus the ing form of the verb. I repeat, the past continuous tense is formed by using the subject with was or were and the ing form of the verb. Now, the negative form can be formed by using subject plus was not or were not plus the verb in the ing form. And you can also make questions in the past continuous tense by using the structure was or were plus subject plus verb plus ing. So this is the basic thing that you, you must know about the past continuous tense. You must first understand how it is formed. So you understand the structure now. Now what exactly do we use this tense for? The first thing we use this tense for is to talk about an action that was going on at a particular time in the past. That means you are talking about an action in the past that was continuously going on. For example, at 8 o'clock yesterday, I was eating breakfast. I was having breakfast. Or at 7 o'clock in the morning, I was taking a shower. At 7 o'clock in the morning, I was taking a shower. So you are talking about an action that you are in the middle of, in the past. If you are in the middle of something now, it is the present continuous tense. But if you are talking about an action that you were in the middle of in the past, it is said to be the past continuous tense. Now try to recollect what were the things you were doing at a particular time in the past. For example, you can also say, at 12 last night, I was sleeping. At 8 p.m., I was taking dinner. At 9 o'clock, I was reading a book. At 6 o'clock, I was watching TV. So you can recollect all the activities that you did in the past, say this morning or yesterday or even a few days ago. And you can make sentences with was, were and the ing form of the verb to tell that you were in the middle of an action at a particular time. So the first use of the past continuous tense is to talk about an action that was going on at a particular time in the past. Now let's move on to the next use of the past continuous tense. The past continuous tense can also be used to talk about a long action in the past. That means a continuous action in the past which you were doing or which was happening for a very long time. For example, yesterday I was very, very tired. I was taking rest all day. Yesterday there was a very exciting match. I was watching TV all day. Yesterday it was raining all day. So you are talking about a continuous action in the past which was going on for a very long time. So the past continuous tense can also be used to talk about a longer action in the past. Now when we want to, when we want to talk about one long action interrupted by another action. For example, if I say when I was walking on the road, I saw an accident. When I was walking on the road is the long action and I saw an accident is the action that interrupted your long action. That means when I was doing something in the past, something else happened. So it was an interruption. It was a kind of disturbance or it just happened in the middle of something. I'll give you one example, one more example. When I was going to market, I met my friend. When I was shopping, 
I met my friend. When I was sleeping, a mosquito bit me. When I was sleeping, a mosquito bit me. Now, when I was sleeping is a longer action. And a mosquito bit me is the interruption or the disturbance that happened when I was doing the longer action. When I was driving, I received a phone call. When I was driving, I got a call or I received a phone call. So here also you are talking about a longer action being interrupted by a shorter action. So the third use of past continuous tense is where you talk about a long action happening which is going on or which was going on interrupted by a shorter action. So you can think of all the actions that you were doing and when something happened in the middle. So when the students were talking, the teacher entered the class. The teacher entered the class when the students were talking. Or when the teacher was teaching, the students were talking. The students talked or students made a noise. So this is one uh, yet another use, yet another use that uh, makes past continuous tense a very interesting tense. So it's very useful because most of the time we use this. This particular use where we talk about a longer action interrupted by a shorter action is one common use of past continuous tense and it helps us to uh, use, it helps us to talk about some events that took place. It helps us to talk about many things in our daily communication. When I was chopping vegetables, I cut my finger. Look at this. So you are able to explain these things with the help of past continuous tense. Now let's go to the last use of past continuous tense. We use the past continuous tense when we talk about two simultaneous actions in the past. Two simultaneous actions going on in the past. It's not an interruption but there are two actions, parallel actions going on simultaneously. For example, when the teacher was teaching, the students were listening. When the teacher was teaching, the students were listening. Or you can also say, when I was walking in the park, when I was walking in the park, the birds were chirping. When I was walking in the park in the morning, the birds were chirping. When he was singing, she was dancing. When he was singing, she was dancing. Did you observe this? Both the sentences are in past continuous tense to denote that both the actions were ha going on at the same time. To sum up, let's look at all the uses of the past continuous tense. But before that, what is the structure? The past continuous is formed by using subject plus was verb plus verb plus ing form. And what are the uses? It can be used to talk about a particular action, an action that was going on at a particular time in the past. The second use, it's used to talk about a long action in the past. And the third use, a long action interrupted by a shorter action. And the last one, when two actions happen at the same time. So I'm sure you have understood the affirmative part. Now we can also make negative sentences. For example, I wasn't sleeping when you called me. I wasn't sleeping when you called me. Or you can simply say, I wasn't doing anything yesterday. I wasn't doing anything yesterday. Or yesterday, I wasn't watching TV. Yesterday, it wasn't raining. So you can make negative sentences too. And when you want to ask questions, you can ask questions using was or were. You can say, were you sleeping when I called you? Was it raining yesterday? Were you working yesterday? Or were you going to market yesterday? Were you traveling yesterday? Were you shopping yesterday? So you can ask questions in past continuous using was or were. This is a very useful tense and it makes your language sound good when you use it right. So try to practice these sentences. Try also to make your own sentences and try to imagine, try to create more and more sentences by looking around you in the past continuous tense. 
and soon you will be very very good at it and you will be able to enhance your fluency in using this tense. I'm sure you enjoyed learning all about the past continuous tense and I will be back very soon to teach you many other interesting things. So goodbye for now. See you soon.